Welcome, traveler, to our lush and fertile shores. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England? It is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pigs north of Hadrian's Wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour? Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London, first built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Hmm. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us. King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall. Our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? I'm sure he is somewhere. Do not worry, my king! I am coming! King, what happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue. Because you cut it out. You're his son. Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear. Hmm. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He is praising you. He wants to thank... He-Sing. He wants to thank he -Sing for his loyalty to the crown. 
What else does he say? The Picts, terrified at word of your approach, will pledge themselves to the crown if you spare their lives. They will? And they agree to pay a daily tribute of food and other goods in exchange for free passage through your lands. Greater news! Thank you. You may leave the king in my care now. This will only lead to further delusion. You will know at least that he eats every day. And maybe someday the Fark will lift. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There's courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Looks like England is united. The Picts have been fine subjects. King Alfred is pleased. The peace holds. For now. <laughs>